Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be replacing a hard drive by an SSD. This time I found the Crescel MX500 at a good price. And we're gonna replace the old hard drive, the mechanical hard drive, and place it in this uh, Sabrent enclosure. So we're gonna proceed by opening it. It's very simple, we're gonna remove all the screws. On this model of laptop, there's two hidden screws here. And you need to remove first the little uh, stickers down on top, as you can see. If you don't have the tools, I usually recommend to use a bank card or a library card or something that you don't use anymore to be able to lift the sides. As you can see, I was pulling and it was not coming off. I was missing one screw. There is a ribbon cable here, so this is the keyboard connector. And you also need to lift here and remove the touchpad connector. So make sure when you open it, don't pull too hard, otherwise you may rip the cable. So once you remove the two cables, you can lift the full uh, keyboard and the palm rest. And the hard drive is just here. We're going to remove the screw holding it to the motherboard. And we're gonna lift and pull. And now we're gonna proceed by just replacing the old hard drive by a new SSD. So make sure the SATA connector is in the right side and we're gonna just replace it and put the screws back to hold it in the hard drive holder. Then we're gonna just push the SATA connector into position, screw it back and we can place the old hard drive in the hard drive enclosure that we just bought so we could use it as an external hard drive I like this model, it's very simple and we're gonna proceed the same way, we're gonna just place it down and push the SATA connector in And before closing it, I'm going to quickly brush it and clean it properly. And then we can place it back. So the easiest way is to just lift it from the back. Place the connectors. And then push it down. You should hear the clicks when you press it back. All the clip should go. I'm gonna switch it on and I can see the SSD is recognized so before putting all the screws back I'm gonna double check otherwise I will have to reopen it fully if it was not seated properly so now that I'm sure that the hard drive is working properly I'm gonna put all the screws back so now that we're gonna put everything back just bear in mind that not all the screws are the same size so make sure you put them in the right place because the ones who are longer, they can go through the palm rest and make a hole. So just take your time and then you can place the stickers and the covers and everything back properly. For the subway installation, 
I'm gonna do it through a USB pen drive. I already loaded Windows in it, so we're gonna go to the BIOS. And we're gonna make sure that the secure boot is disabled. And also we're gonna put the booting priorities set to the USB so the computer starts from the USB device. We press F10 and enter to save the configuration. It's gonna boot from the USB and we're gonna proceed to the normal Windows installation. In this case for me it's a bit tricky as it's in Greek and I do not speak Greek, but it's just as usual. Once the operative system is installed, we're gonna try and test the old hard drive. So we're gonna press on the button to switch it on. And as you can see, it's recognized by the operative system, by Windows. So we can copy the old files back to the new hard drive. And uh, the job is done. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, place them in the comment section below. And I will see you again in the next video once I thank you and see you soon. Bye.